the buffalo is a favorited prey of the lions. But it can be very difficult to get. Because of its huge body and ferocity, the lions rarely defeat buffaloes. Usually when it targets the calves, it is an easier an attempt, younger and weaker. But what happens when they attack a herd of calves? Let's watch today's episode, what happens when the stupid lion attacks the cubs and the mad buffalo attacks back. The North American porcupine has up to 30,000 spiky thorns. They use these thorns as a weapon to repel any attack that they may encounter. Snakes, like pythons, lions and even leopards are stopped by their thorns. When the pythons try to attack the porcupine, their sharp thrills are pierced through the body, capturing the internal organs of these reptiles and killing them. The thorns on their back grow just like hair, ensuring that there is always a dense layer protecting their delicate skin. Today, the glutinous pythons seem to have received a bloody lesson from a daring threat of the porcupine. Things take a turn for the worse when the porcupine shoots its spikes. This is a method of self-defense. A notice not to be reckoned with. The sight of the porcupine thorns on the python's body look like pain, making us feel pity for this wild and aggressive animal. It is a natural defense, one that works so well it can deter almost any natural enemy. A few people think that a slow animal like the hedgehog is feared by poisonous snakes. But in this battle, the hedgehog has taken advantage. The armor of the hedgehog makes the snake suffer in great pain. The poisonous snake's weapon is unable to work against this small animal. In the end, the snake has to hang up his tail and run away. Normally, snakes do not dare to attack hedgehogs because they can kill them with their venom and they can swallow the prey, causing them to die of a hundred thousand sharp thorns. Perhaps because he was incredibly hungry, the poisonous snake tries to risk his life just to attack the small hedgehog. Today the little hedgehog looks cute and gentle, but this mighty small animal brings fear to the cobra's eyes. The Egyptian Cobra designed to be one of the top hunting machines, possessing a lethal venom. It has an extreme high mortality rate. Knowing this, he has an extreme advantage. The hedgehog can ruffle its spines and approach a venomous snake. All it needs to do is prevent the venom from entering its body. It curls up and ruffles out its spikes. The hedgehog can be completely attacked, injured by the venomous bite. However, the Egyptian cobra's natural weapon is useless against this small natural enemy. The venom simply doesn't work. The opponent rejects the venom, curling up and full of thorns. Known as a formidable predator in the natural world, muscular sharp claws in an agile nature. However, it is not always the winner, especially against a porcupine. A large leopard intends to eat the porcupine to satisfy his hunger, though he is about to receive a life lesson. The leopard cannot believe that the porcupine's thorns were so sharp. He was stabbed by the large thorns, causing internal bleeding. 
when a hedgehog emerges from the bushes, the leopard quickly approaches, charging in with might and fierce. Realizing the inherent danger, the hedgehog begins to ruffle his back, throwing up his spines, causing a natural self-defense. Though, due to the hunger that's growing inside of the leopard, he rushes in, trying to attack once more. The leopard receives a heavy defeat. He is stabbed by the thorns, causing severe bleeding to his face and paws. In many battles between the lions and the hedgehog, the lion is almost always the loser, suffering far too many thorns to his body. Despite being injured, the lion still attacks. Why is this? A large hedgehog is wandering in about the road when he is encountered by the lions. Immediately, the predators surround, attempting to attack. Things are not this simple. With experience, he throws up the sharp thorns on his back. And the hedgehog is not alone. He tries to defeat the entire herd, but he is one against many. In the wild, it is tough to defend himself. He must be ready to attack at any moment. The hedgehog is surrounded at night, still unharmed thanks to a full head of spikes. The sharp spines are 20 to 50 centimeters long, and once they are erect, they reach a great height on the back. This is due to a layer of strong, muscular skin beneath. Everyone thinks that the leopard would quickly have a hearty meal. Though due to the thorns of the mother hedgehog and the young, the sharpness of them is the weapon against the leopard. He tries to pounce on the prey, but every time, they throw their sharp thorns up, striking deep into the leopard's body. When it is attacked, the porcupines always ensure that the two young are in the middle, the mother and father defending their young. It is a mastery of family to keep the young safe and continue their journey against this deep predator. <laughs>